some songs and look at the meter that they are. Is it in a simple duple, simple triple, or is it in a compound meter, which has the feel of three also, just like simple triple does. Um, we'll also look at how to conduct those. So let's do, uh, the first thing to do would be to try to conduct them and see how it feels. So let's try um, Shalom Haverim. Shalom Haverim, Shalom Haverim, Shalom, Shalom. Lehit Praot, Lehit Praot, Shalom, Shalom. Now another thing, so we've got two beats there, definitely a feel of two. Now, do we feel the beat divided into two parts also? This would be our, represent our beat um, in 2-4 or simple duple time. And this would be our divided beat. So if this is the beat, the divided beat is... Shalom Haverim, Shalom Haverim, Shalom, Shalom. I think that fits, okay? 2-4. Um, let's look at another one, the ash grove. We'll try it in two. The ash grove, how graceful, how... Now, that feels kind of awkward to me. I feel like I want to be doing one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's see. The ash grove, how graceful, how plainly it is speaking. The harp through it playing has language for me. So that tells us it must be in three. So here's our simple triple. And our uh, beat is the quarter note here in 3-4 time. You can have simple triple in different, um, different key time signatures also. Um, but this one I have is 3-4 because the quarter note's the beat. And these are just different ways to write eighth notes. You can either write them with the beam across them or you can have, have them separately with flags. I just thought I would show you that. Um, so remember, these are just, this is one simple duple meter in one simple triple meter. You could have different ones, but these are the ones I have written up here. So we could, let's see if this works. How um, the ash, let's tap the divided beat. The ash grove, how graceful, how plainly is speaking. That fits, because the, the rhythms definitely have a feel of two to them. The, the words that we're saying, the syllables we're singing fit with that divided beat there. And so let's look at another one, stew ball. This, these were ones we did in the lesson, I think, on February 19th. So these are the answers, just in case you did that lesson. So let's see, stew ball. Oh, stew ball was a racehorse. Does that fit? And I wish she were mine. I feel like it might be three. It feels a little awkward going back and forth. Oh, stew ball was a racehorse. And I wish she were mine. That's definitely a feel of one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, let's see what's next. We have um, make new friends. Let's try, we'll try two first to see if it works. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other gold. I think that fits with simple duple. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. That works. And let's see, the next one I have down on my list is um, Irene Goodnight. Let's see. Irene Goodnight. Irene Goodnight. That sort of has a feel of two. So we got Irene Goodnight. Irene Goodnight. Goodnight, Irene. Goodnight. Now, what we have in this song, it, there's also a feeling of three. If we went fast, if we went really fast, we could go, I ring good night. The one would be one, two, three. I ring. So what we could do here is make it a compound duple or triple duple. So the duple is that there are two beats in every measure, if this was a measure. But the beat is the dotted quarter note, and the divided beat is divided into three parts. So essentially what we do is we take these three quarter notes and squish them together and put them and change them into eighth notes and then make our beat the dotted quarter note because the dotted quarter is three eighths. And so now we have Irene good night. Irene good night. Good night Irene. You feel that? One, two, three. One, 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's what it, um, when we have a compound meter, that's what, what happens is we have often this feel of the two, which is here, and then the three. It's also possible to have a triple com compound triple meter, which would be like this. And I don't have another dotted corner note to put there. Um, like down in the valley was like that. Down in the valley, valley so low, hang your head. That was a, a compound triple. Okay, so let's see. We have another song, Swing Low. Did we do that one? I already forgot if we did it. <laughs> Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. You might think it's maybe has some rhythms in there that feel a little different than just to uh, divide it into two parts. Swing low, sweet chariot. Um, and so it has some other rhythms that we haven't learned yet, some 16th notes. I'll show you those. Um, it has some rhythm patterns that have that divide into more than two parts, um, into four parts. But it's not it's not this one because it doesn't feel like swing low, sweet chariot. It feels more like swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Okay, and then the last one I have is Pop Goes the Weasel. So let's see. We have that back and forth feel of two, but we also have one, two, three, four, five, six, da 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 So this one would be our compound duple, or what I like to call triple duple. Because compound means that you're going to have a, the beat is going to be, be divided into three parts. So that's what the compound means. So there's just a little bit of a review of our conducting patterns for two and three and simple and compound meters.